Hi everyone, it's that time of year again. I cannot believe it's come, this year's flown by, but it is my annual gift guide. And also it's a huge giveaway, as you probably remember. So everything that I'm suggesting for presents or featuring today is also a giveaway. Everything, I've called in lots and lots of different things to look at, and then I've chosen, I've sort of narrowed it down to a small selection, well, not that small, but quite small compared to everything I've looked at, of things that I think are either just really nice, really interesting, fun, um, different price points, and for different things. So I'm gonna start with skincare and tools and candles and move on to the makeup. So let's crack on. So I'm gonna start with a really fun one, and that's the Reindeer Headband. This is a really nice stocking filler from the Body Shop, and I just love the idea of, over the holidays, you know, putting your, when you're cleansing your face, putting on your reindeer headband while you're sitting there, massaging your face, cleansing, doing your, whatever you do with your face masks or whatever, while you're having time off. So I think that's just a really cute one. So while we're on the subject of cleansing, the next one is the Orlixia Gummy Cleanser. I've used this one before in, I think, in a tutorial, and I really like this cleanser. This is the size inside the cracker. It's the founder is Australian and she's really inspired by the outdoors. So it's a very natural ingredient. And it, there's lots of kakadu plum extract, which is high in vitamin C. So even though it's not on your skin for a long time, you can kind of use it to massage. And because it's quite gummy, you can almost, um, it's almost nicer for massaging because it's sort of almost quite sticky as you're applying it. It also has um, lots of nourishing oils and loads of glycerin, so very, very hydrating. Something that you might like to give someone at the same time, which is also by Elixir. I also like all their packaging is really recyclable and there's no wasted plastic or crazy packaging. And this is their face massager, their rose quartz face massager. I quite like this one because of the shape of it. Usually they're either rollers or sort of a basic shape, whereas this one has got loads of different angles and there's got one sort of bit here with two bumps or then it's got the very large swoopy shape. And then here it's got lots of little um, bumps which you could use to really stimulate the circulation. So I really like this tool. Next is spacemasks.com and this one is the heating, the self-heating eye masks. I just think this is such a nice present to receive, particularly if you know someone who gets migraines or headaches or just general stress headaches. They are infused with rose, they smell of roses, but as soon as they come in contact with the air, they heat up, so there's just a nice warming mask over the eyes, which I just think if during like, the holiday period when you've got family over and you, I don't know, it might be stressful and if you get stress headaches, this is such a nice gift. I also like it because a pound from every sale goes towards the Royal Marsden Charity, which is a big cancer charity here in London and they do lots of great work. So I really like that these for that reason as well. Another really beautiful mask which would make a great gift is the Summer Friday Jet Lag Mask. You don't need to have jet lag to use it. It's a really beautiful, nourishing, hydrating and exfoliating mask. So if your skin is feeling a little bit stressed out or just not on top form, then it's a really great one. It contains niacinamides and vitamin C and it also has ceramide, so really good for just strengthening your skin. And I like the packaging because it's so eco-friendly. You've got just the um, card there and a really cool tube. I really like the packaging and it's an aluminium tube, so also recyclable. On with the mask theme and the next gift is the MZ Skin Set and this is a gold face, uh, biocellulose face mask and gold under eye pad. So if you wanna feel like a queen over the holidays or you want someone to feel like a queen, then this beautiful gold mask and under eye pads are really, really beautiful to look at. They feel so nice on the skin and they have lots of good skincare ingredients. So the mask is just full of humectants, which means it really plumps up the moisture in the skin. Your skin looks nice and, and plumped and the under eye pads have things like hyaluronic acid, which I'm sure you all know about now, as well as lots of other really good ingredients. So that is a beautiful, I mean, so beautifully presented. Let me just open 
you've got your kind of little pocket in there and you've got your eye mask here and then your face mask at the back there. The next gift I'm going to mention is the new face and if you watch my channel you know that I'm kind of obsessed with the new face. I've been using it for must be coming up for two years now although the last couple of months I left my device in a hotel and um, I didn't have one for about six weeks two months I've just got a new one and so I'm just back using it but I feel like I've almost lost the effects because you do need to use it really regularly I'd say every day pretty much um, this is a nice kit because it's more like a giftable set so they've got the new face Trinity in but they also have the gel that you need to um, use it because you need to have a gel, a hyaluronic gel on so you can conduct the microcurrents and this one also has a um, serum in it and a mirror so it's more of a gift set. You can buy mini ones and you can buy um, cheaper sets of the new face but I thought that was a really nice gift set. For lovers of organic skincare I really like this brand Antipodes, Antipodes as in Antipodean and the brand is from New Zealand so it's all about using nature and natural ingredients like grapeseed oil and kiwi extract and avocado and this kit is just a really nice introduction to the brand. It has an eye cream, a day cream and a serum and again if you're not into the crazy packaging that you see these days this is just a really simple cardboard box which um, it's almost like to me the new luxury is almost simple packaging because I mean who wants the crazy amount of plastic that you see on a lot of these Christmas gifts these days so that's a really nice one. So the next thing I'm going to mention is this enormous spa kit by a spa. I just think this is really really good value for money. So you've got full sizes of their cleanser, eye cream, bath oil and body oil and then in the bottom drawer day cream and night cream, skin polisher, their face serum, pink scalp mud and a natural bristle body brush. So really good for skin brushing which I really think is a good thing to do. So yeah so that is um it says that it's worth about £300 but it's retailing at £150 which I just thought for to give someone just a really nice present where they can just spend like the whole day pampering themselves that is such a lovely present. Something that I've been enjoying using recently and I thought it would make a lovely gift are the, the lip kit by Apoth & Co. Now this is a tiny, tiny company in the UK. Um, they do ship however I think they only ship from the UK and the kit has a lip exfoliator, a lip balm and a hydrating lip mask. It's the lip mask that I am obsessed with. It feels, I just, I don't know, lots of those lip masks, I don't think they make much difference to your lips. With this one, even if I only put it on for five minutes, when I take it off, I feel like my lips feel completely different. So I really like this brand. It's all natural. Um, it's consciously crafted in terms of the packaging so these are in sort of glass pots and it's very simply packaged uh, which feels very luxury to me and um, it's all handmade as well so that's something that has just come to my attention recently but I really would like somebody to buy me the lip mask for Christmas because I love it. Skincare junkies what to get them this year I am suggesting the Barbara Sturm winter essentials kit and this is a really good introduction to her brand. She is a dermatologist, a German dermatologist with a very famous clinic in Dusseldorf. I've never seen her or met her, but I'm imagining a white coat and someone quite stern, but I don't know if that's just because stern rhymes with stern. So she probably doesn't look anything like that, but I'm imagining quite a serious, white coat kind of um, dermatologist, but she does make amazing skincare. And this is a really nice kit because I'm not sure if the packaging is going to be too reflective to see, but it's a nice introduction to her brand. And I've, I've written down what's inside so I don't forget. But you've got six products inside, cleanser, exfoliator, hyaluronic serum, calming serum, face mask and face cream. So a really nice gift for anyone that's into their skincare. Another really nice kit is the Elemis Pro Collagen Sparkling Treat Set and inside you've got the 
the under eye mask, the biocellulose ones, these are ones that I always have in my kit and I use on um, jobs all the time. And you have the face mask and the pro collagen eye treatment. So the next one is really interesting, I think, and these are the Orveda candles. There is a set of three. So there's large, medium, and small. Now, these candles are fascinating. We are obsessed with them here because they are made of wax. So the outside, this is one that we've been burning for the last two days, which is hardly burnt down at all. They last so long, but the actual case is made of wax and the inside is made of a different type of wax. So it burns, wax burns within wax. Um, we've only just blown this one out, so I don't wanna tip it too much, but you can see maybe a little bit inside that the wax is burning down inside the wax but we cannot believe how long this is, has lasted and how long it is lasting. They smell, it's like a green scent. It is like if you washed your clothes in something that smelled nice and then you hung them out to dry in the Swiss Alps, that kind of like outdoor green, um, just beautiful, natural, foresty type of smell. And what's really interesting is how ethical and how environmentally sound this brand is, or well, these candles are anyway, because you've got the, obviously it's completely biodegradable once you um, burn the candle down. This is biodegradable. The candles are wrapped in a plant-based cellulose. So instead of a oil, but like petroleum plastic, it is, made of plant polymers so it will also biodegrade and the wicks are made of organic um, cotton and it's just a really really interesting for me very luxury brand because it is so interested in um, the environment and it just feels very very luxury they are expensive absolutely um, even the, the base is actually um, recyclable as well but I just think if you want something which is very natural, very pure, has an eye on the environment, but is also very luxury, lasts a long time, is interesting, then this to me is a really interesting idea for a candle. The next candle brand I'm gonna mention is I'm, and this candle is called Rest the Sleepy One. And I was just so attracted, firstly, to the philosophy of the brand. So again, the packaging is all ethically sourced. It's all sustainable. It is, there's no plastic on it. And you've got a glass container this time. But it, I particularly love the scent of this one. It is a relaxing candle. And it just smells so clean, so like a freshly washed baby that's what it smells like when babies come out of the bath and you dry them and they just smell the hair and the everything just smells so yummy it's that lovely fresh clean baby smell which i love so this is a really nice one this next gift i'm obsessed with diptyque have created three different fragranced brooches now all of the brooches look the same it's just the refills and the scent that is different the brooches are these, look at these little birds with the wobbly legs, um, so cute. The, the concept's really inspired by fragrance jewelry, which was very popular during the Renaissance period. So that's where they're taking their inspiration. And all of the brooches are the same bird motif, which is inspired by their original workshop, which they used to have wooden birds in. So really nice story. And it, with each brooch, you get two ceramic tablets in whichever fragrance you've chosen. And then you open the back of your bird and you put your ceramic tablet inside and then that gives off the aroma which, of whichever scent you've chosen. So all day long you can drown in this, bathe in this scent, that uh, this diptyque scent, which they do make beautiful scents. Once you've, the tablets last up to a month, once they've finished, you can then buy a refill with four tablets in. So you could either maybe try a different scent next time or you could just keep replacing it and it should last forever. And I just think that's such a beautiful gift. So on to makeup brushes. And the first one I want to mention is this magnetic makeup brush by Ruby Hammer. Love the box. 
and Ruby is a lovely, lovely woman. She's a makeup artist, I've known her for years. She used to be part of Ruby and Millie, if you remember that brand, years ago, and now she's back and she's launched this, which I just think is a genius tool. Um, it's one brush, but it actually inside it's magnetic and you've got three different brushes. So if you're like me and just hate having loose brushes in your handbag, particularly when you go out at night, like sometimes you go out and I think, oh, I might want to touch up my concealer or my pimple concealer, and I think, oh, almost wrap brushes sort of in tissues, whereas this is so handy. And you could use this one for smudging eyeshadow if you wanted, this one, which is an angled brush, could be good for brows or eyeliner. And this one is either for smudging liner or I'd say actually even that's good for applying lipstick as well. So it's just a really lovely kit. The hair is animal free, so it's cruelty free. And I just think that looks really chic. Perfect gift for anyone on the go. The next kit I'd like to mention is the Trish McAvoy Zebra six piece brush set. And anything with a bow and a heart and I am sold. But no, I just love this bag. I love the lavender color with the red and the bow. Hello, it's gorgeous. Um, inside, it is just like a really great organizer. So you could, if you're traveling, you've got all of your brushes, which again are cruelty-free brushes, some really good face blending brushes, something for eyes, something for concealer, something for lips. And then this side, you could put in like sponges if you use sponges or um, anything else that you use to apply your makeup. And you could also put like, I don't know, cotton buds or other things inside there. So if you're traveling and you want a really nice brush set that looks great, um, I think this is a really, really cool set. The next gift set I'm going to talk about is the Crown Jewels Collection by Beauty Blender. Now you might be saying, but Lisa, you don't use beauty blenders. And it's true, I don't use the full size ones, but I do like the minis. But I know that millions of people love using the full size ones. So I just thought this was actually a really cool kit. So it's all inspired by jewelry and gemstones, which is why it caught my eye. And inside you have four full sized beauty blenders. So you've got a kind of ruby inspired one, sapphire, emerald, and I guess that's a pink tourmaline. And then you've got four of the soaps. So this is the special soap that's for cleaning the beauty blenders after you've used them. And these are all inspired by jewels as well. So there's the green one, which looks very like my green emerald that I wear. Um, so yeah, I just like the fact that they're actual jewels. So a really nice kit and um, for anyone who loves beauty blenders. The only thing I will say that I don't like about it is that it has this massive piece of plastic that sits on top of that, which I don't think is necessary. But apart from that, I really like this kit. So the next two gifts I'm gonna mention are more hybrid presents. So they cover a couple of the categories. The first one is the Caramel Melange Cracker by Zoeva. So obviously very festive. Inside, you've got two brushes. They're full-size brushes, but with shorter travel size handles. So again, nice for um, traveling. And inside, you've also got the caramel-inspired um, mini palette, eyeshadow palette. So this is if you like the bronze tones, gold, um, sort of creme brulee, I'd say, sort of colors, and the orangey terracotta shades. Uh, but that's a really cute present. So the next gift really does tick all of the boxes. So it's got skincare, makeup, brushes, and 10% of the proceeds of this gift goes to charity, which is amazing. And this is the Beauty Edit Box by Sam and Nick Chapman. And they have joined forces with Estee Lauder, not Estee Lauder the brand, but Estee Lauder the group. And they have chosen their favorite products from within the group and put them together inside this box. And there's a really nice illustration of both of the girls on the box. And this is such good value for money as well. I think it's a really great kit to suit everyone. So what's inside? There's the Glam Glow Bubble Sheet Mask and there is the Thickening Spray by Bumble and Bumble. A really nice um, Smashbox eye palette, a really good size a cleanser by Clinique, um, the strobe cream from MAC, 
really good size as well. I don't know how all of this fits in. It's amazing how much stuff you get in this kit. There's an Estee Lauder mascara, which is a mini mascara, but is also great for traveling. A mini lipstick by Bobbi Brown, a bronzer by Bobbi Brown, and also it's like that kind of Mary Poppins handbag when just things keep coming out of this box. And a Real Techniques, so this is Sam and Nick's brand Real Techniques, and there's a Real Techniques brush in there as well. And you also get the Breast Cancer Care brooch. So 10% of the proceeds go to the Look Good Feel Better charity which helps women dealing with the after effects of chemotherapy, helps them with their hair and their makeup and just helps them to feel good about themselves and also the breast cancer care charity. So well done to the girls because it's a fantastic gift and it's a fantastic cause. So the next gift is like a Disney movie in a box and this is the Too Faced Christmas Star set and this smells of gingerbread firstly got a gingerbread lady on the front now inside is this palette which is I'm really impressed because it's not plastic it is card but beautifully made so that's recyclable which I think is is great and then you lift up the gingerbread lady and open up the star and um, firstly this smells so good <laughs> now I don't normally like things that smell like make up the smells but this is making me really want to have some chocolate caramel, salted caramel chocolate, because it smells divine. Um, and inside you've got some really beautiful eyeshadows. So a mixture of the more neutral tones, the sort of browns and the taupes, right through to the really strong dual colors. And these are nice quality eyeshadows actually. And then around the outside, you have a bronzer, two blush, and two different shades of highlighter. So I actually think it's incredible value for money. I mean, incredible. We worked it out and it's worth something like $300 and it's, um, I think it was 40 something dollars. So this is actually a, an incredible um, gift in terms of what you're getting for your money. Um, inside the box, you also have, again, a very festive looking lip gloss and a mini of their mascara. So for somebody who loves kind of like makeup and colors and this whole world of gingerbreadness and Too Faced, I think it's a brilliant gift. So next makeup gift I'm suggesting is the Hula Mini and this is in a little hanging decoration and what's not to love really, it's the classic Hula and it's a mini, a travel size. It's just a really, really great gift. So the next gift is by Becca, which is a brand that you guys know historically I have loved. Um, and this is the Glow to Glow gift set. Hard to say fast. I wish it was the Glow to Go. I think that's a better name, but hey. Um, and this has the primer in and the Champagne Pop pressed highlighter and a lipstick, which is a plum shade. And this is just a really nice gift for complexion. Nice to have a small size of the highlighter. My only gripe with it is that it comes in a plastic box. But apart from that, what's inside is really good. So on to palettes. And the first one I'm gonna mention is the Victoria Beckham, and this is the Tuxedo palette. So this is the Smoky palette with the greys, the black, the silver, and the um, cream shade in. And I just think, when I mean, she was on my channel a few weeks ago, you probably saw her. Firstly, I love her, she's so great. And also I think this is, the, the eye palettes are genuinely really, really good. And I have to say, I love the packaging. I love that it's so small that it's really quality, it's made of brass and it's just very, very chic and I'm sure anyone will be delighted to receive that as a gift. The next one is the Dior Holiday Collection because I just thought these colors were really, really cool um, and you've got 2020 written all over there which is, um, of course, the beginning of a new decade um, so this feels like quite an iconic palette and um, again, just really, really interesting shades for people that maybe already have all the neutrals that they could ever want and are looking for something that's a little bit more wow a little bit more experimental or just somebody that loves really bright colors and then the 
I just love the packaging again for this one, which is Givenchy. It's red, it's beautifully glittery, and inside it's so chic. And this is a face and eye palette. So you've got quite a shimmery sort of silvery tone that can be used on eyes. And then you can either mix these shades and also use them on eyes, or you can use them as blush. So the last palette I'm gonna mention, last but not least, is the Charlotte Tilbury Starry Eyes to Hypnotize palette. And I just think this is gorgeous, actually. Midnight blue with a silver starburst in the center. Really gorgeous looking palette. And inside, very, very wearable shades. So you've got four different looks. Um, you've got the smoky, silvery blue with the midnight colors, and then the olive green and khaki greens, which are gorgeous, pinks, and through to sort of champagne tones. So very, very wearable um, colors in a beautiful palette. So last but not least, I think you probably would kill me if I wasn't giving away some of my lipsticks. And I have um, the new cherry bag, which is um, for this year. So the velvet cherry bag. And I have six different kits, trio kits on my site. Uh, four of them are sold out, but I'm giving away one of each kit. So one of the six kits. So there's the ultimate true velvets, which is a Velvet Muse, which is a sort of smoky rosewood shade, Velvet Ribbon and Velvet Decade. I've got the Blue Velvet, which is Velvet Beauty, Velvet Myth and Velvet Midnight. The New Velvet, which is Fawn, Muse and Decade. And the True Velvet, which is Velvet Morning, Velvet Ribbon and Velvet Jazz. And then there are the Soft Velvet, which is Velvet Fawn, Velvet Beauty and Velvet Muse and the Deep Velvets, which is Velvet Jazz, Velvet Decade, and Velvet Midnight. So that's all six kits. I'm giving away one of each of the kits with the three lipsticks in and in the velvet pouch. So um, that is an amazing gift because they are genuinely, four of them are genuinely sold out. And last but not least, and I think this is the, the best prize, um, I would say that, um, I am launching my baby rings probably next week, so not this week. These aren't out yet. And I've done mini cushions and mini movals. So these are have been cut especially for me um, in terms of the shape, which is um, almost like a long oval. And um, some of them are rings that I make already and I'm just making mini versions of them. So like the baby Grace or um, there's a baby Nicole. But I also have some new stones coming. So I have a baby Greta, a baby Valentina, a baby Delilah and I've forgotten now, which is the other one? A baby Lula. So, um, so yeah, so they're the small rings and I'm offering a giveaway of the baby Nicole. So this is the white beryl in sterling silver. And if this is something that you would like to win, then please, um, when you put your comment below, if you could give me your ring size as well, that would be really, really helpful. So there is to celebrate the launch of the baby rings, which I'm really excited about, the sterling silver and 18 karat gold. Um, I am giving away a baby Nicole and um, I'm really, really proud of these because they're very, very beautiful. So little blush touch up just to say that's it. That's my gift guide for this year. I really hope it was helpful. I hope you got some good ideas and inspiration for your gifting this year. And don't forget, it is a huge giveaway as well. It's open globally. All you need to do to enter is first be subscribed to my YouTube channel, which I know you are. And if you're not, why the hell not? Just leave me a comment below and just let me know which maybe the top three gifts are your favorite. So if you do win, I'm able to at least make sure that you get something that you really, really want. Um, the laws have changed, the rules have changed here on YouTube. So I'm not able just to directly contact you here anymore into your inbox. Um, so if you do uh, enter here on YouTube, please leave me your handle either on um, Twitter or on Instagram, ideally, or on Facebook. And you can also enter on Facebook directly and on um, Instagram and Twitter as well directly. So um, if you do, one thing to say though, if you do enter on Facebook, 
please do check your inbox on the date that this is announced. The giver will be announced, all the winners will be announced on the 5th of December. So please do check your inbox there. I only say that because last year we did have a couple of winners on Facebook that we just could not get hold of. We messaged them and messaged them and they obviously weren't checking the inboxes. So um, please do check and um, that's it. So. Hope that was helpful and I'll see you soon. Good luck.